brother going out to do big things in life. Later, Brian. Mm -hmm. Bye, Mom. Bye, Pops. All right, let me give you guys a little tour of my room. Fridge, uh, coffee, AKA caffeine machine for training. This is gonna be my workspace. This is where I'm gonna do all my editing. I'm gonna move this out of the way. I'm gonna move everything out of the way because the only thing I need is uh, space to train. It's 7 a.m. right now. Uh, it's really early for me. I'm actually not a morning person. We're in my trailer right now. Uh, just kind of waiting till whenever uh, wardrobe is ready to come help me suit up because the costume well this is only part of the costume so this is what the costume it's a lot of layers there's also masks and a belt kunai knives like a bunch of ninja today's the first day of shooting uh, we've been rehearsing for a couple weeks for the scene This week is uh, Yoon Wah's birthday. If you guys don't know who Yoon Wah is, are you a real Hong Kong movie fan? Just go watch a Hong Kong movie. He's a legend in Hong Kong cinema. Uh, it's kind of hard for me to decide what type of gifts to get him, you know? So I'm, I'm kind of out today trying to find him a gift. Joseph from Team Red, he suggested a cigar. Harking back to a... Uh, Dragons Forever. He, he's puffing on his cigar when he fights Jackie. Uh, I talked to his assistant um, and she said he likes sake. And also, I was gonna get tea because I know older Chinese folks, they like tea. So I'm gonna find tea. I literally entered the mall just there. This is the first thing I see. Yes, sir. All right, perfect. Boom! Red apparently is very significant for birthdays. Yeah, it's pretty significant. Sake! This is 50 bucks, I didn't know that. I got him this, I went in, I did not know anything about sake, so I'm just like, just give me the high-end one. Birthday card, I'm gonna write him uh, something very personal. Boom! Marshall Club shirt. I don't even know if he's gonna wear it, if we're even worthy for him to rock our name, but uh, you know. Uh, Dear Master Yun, I'm not sure if you can read this, but words cannot express how much of an honor it is for me to be in your presence, let alone be in a movie with you. Yes, sir. Even in person, I'm so starstruck. I'm not exactly sure how to express myself to you. That is very true because I'm starstruck as hell. I have watched you on the screen ever since I was a little boy, even as a toddler, your screen presence is always the most recognizable. So surreal to be here with you today. You have been a part of the action since the very beginning of Kung Fu Cinema, thank you for setting such a strong example of a lifetime devoted to the art. I hope to carry on your legacy one day. Uh, let him know, we gotta let him know that uh, who's the next one, you know? <laughs> I wish you a happy birthday and many more years of healthy happiness. Sincerely, Andy Lee. guys i'll just vlog a little bit but like man i sorry i wish i vlogged earlier but there was just way too much going on you know the hong kong like heroes hit you up it's like so last minute and you're like just focused on you know just getting there and being like, having a good impression that you forget to 
vlog. Today I was in the gym. I was just getting warmed up. I was starting to train and then you guys know I sent Master Yun Yunhua his gift. I don't know if anyone else sent him a gift. So he he was like, I got a message from his assistant and she was like, Master Yun like really appreciated and he loved your gift. And he was wondering if you wanted to get uh, lunch with him and his wife today. And I immediately, I dropped training. And then uh, I took an Uber straight to the restaurant and I met him right away. I was able to finally have the one-on-one -on -one time with him to show him what I'm about. You know, I showed him my reel. I showed him some Marshall Club videos. I showed him what we're about, how we're coming from YouTube, how we got here, how I got onto this movie and what our future goals were, you know? And I told him, I made it clear to him that we are trying to lay it down. I, I laid it down to him that we are trying to, we are going to be the next generation of martial arts movies. I told him that, like bold face. And he was like, you know, I asked him eventually. We had a long conversation. He told me about everything. He was like, this guy, you really know your stuff. And uh, the one moment that really hit me though was he, when he... I asked him like, where do you see the future of like martial arts movies, you know? He's, Cause he said the era of, you know, like Jackie and Sammo and the good Kung Fu um, movies is over. And I told him like, what do you, where do you see this, the future of martial arts movies? Like, do you see it coming back, you know? And he said, yes, I see it coming back. But like, if someone like you does it, he pointed at me, he's like, if you do it, then, then we can bring it back. And then I was like, Wow, I just so surreal that moment. I dropped, I put my head into my arms and I I teared up at the table, dude. Like for real, it was it was surreal. Oh my god, I wish I had just someone there vlogging with me. I I wish I had Dima and Brian and Joseph and Dy and all my teammates. I wish we were all there together and share this experience. You know, rubbing, you know, just rubbing shoulders with the dust of the master. You know. He said that it was fate that we met and are having, you know, lunch right now on his birthday. And he said that, like, you know, you are the, f you know. And so, um, yeah, and he kept reading. I asked him, uh, he's like, because of your passion, like, you're here for a reason, you know. And I asked him, like, where do you see, do you have any suggestions for me moving forward with my goals and my career goals? And he said, I don't have much because I can see what you've. I'm watching you, what you can already do. And he said that like, you just keep doing what you're doing. <sighs> just taking this moment to like, to myself, you know. <laughs> Enjoy this moment, Andy Lee, let's go. Um, and then uh, I showed him Dance of the Drunken Gods. And he said, this is like very comparable to Jackie Chan. I think it's because, you know, newer generation, we come up with new moves, different stuff. And so he, he really enjoyed that one. Anyways, um, tomorrow I'm going boating with Michelle. So, man, what a time to be alive, right? Spending time with your heroes and your legends. It's crazy. Um, yeah. I will keep you guys updated. You know, this is only a part of the journey. You guys get to be a part of it. I'm happy you guys are here. Trailer right now, and I got this. This is a gift from the production. It's a travel bag. Shang Chi and the Legend of Ten Rings film crew 2020. So that's another bag. Okay. This is a pretty sick hat. Shang Chi and the Legend of Ten Rings hat. I would totally rock this, homie. This is like. You guys know my color scheme is red and black. This totally suits me. Yes, sir. What is this, like a dragon talisman? Ooh, this is sick. And do the cast. Thank you so much. Kevin Lewis, Victoria David, Destin, Jonathan, Charles, and all your friends at Marvel Studios. Wow. 
That's so sweet, guys. Thank you guys so much for the production. Thank you guys for having me. This film, like I think beyond making a film, it's the relationships that you make with the people. I feel like I'm gonna miss the people here more than I do the work part, obviously. We do the work part together, you know? Just wanted to thank everyone for taking care of me. And um, I promise that uh, we will all cross paths again. Yep, thank you guys. Peace out, Sydney and Marshall Club. That's from the local. Out. <laughs>